Uh, Brad? Yeah. Uh, snipers! No, 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 Hi hey guys. Hello. Hi. Uh, just got a few questions for you. Um, what would you say the main things in the, in the story? I think loyalty is a massive one. Loyalty is uh, first of all their loyalty to the to the army. Um, that's the entire reason the the film happens because they've they've broken that loyalty to each other. The the bond between the, our two characters. And then the bond, they, they think they can put their trust and their sort of faith in one person, and that can't happen. I think it's really, really important. Um, yeah, and just, just what happens when loyalty is, is broken and betrayed? Yeah, I think um, displacement. I think they, um, the more the film goes on, their identity is just com completely stripped away. And they're, they're just lost. Yeah. I mean, physically and... <laughs> Beard scratching. It's my, my thing. Uh, for me, I would say brotherhood. Um, for sure, you know, uh, brotherhood between the, between these three men and, and boys. Um, brotherhood, you know, back with the army, and you know, there's a lot of sort of like family relationships mm. and and just. Uh, mm. No, definitely. Putting yeah, putting your faith, putting your faith in um, a higher power. Whether it be an officer or, or a lance corporal or God, just a lot about faith and brotherhood, I'd say. Um, so, if you had to choose uh, one thing, or if you want a few things, uh, what made you want to take part in, in this film? What appealed to you? I think playing a character from any of the world wars is so important. Like, you know, our, our history, the history of England is so based upon it, and our families have all played a small part in it, whatever it is. And just Finding a link back to you know, my past, at least my great granddad, and and it's it's nice to have that link, mm. um, and the story as well is is just I don't know so harrowing. It's a, a challenge. Yeah. Mm. I think the um, yeah, as Harper was saying, the script is amazing, mm -hmm. and I think also you know reading into the characters, the closeness between them, they're so close, but then obviously they're so different. Yeah. And I think that was, you know, a fascinating thing to kind of explore. But I love how, you know, small the cast is and it's just... You know, if, it feels very intimate as, yeah, a, piece, very as intimate. a piece of art. It Especially, very, yeah, I mean... For a war film, yeah, it's yeah. such a different intensity. But it, yeah. it's still there. There's, there's not, you know, hundreds of soldiers running across the battlefield, but there's still the same feeling. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think instead of focusing on the war specifically, like mm. most war films, this film was so good in just kind of focusing... On the characters mm -hmm. really closely, so yeah, characterization was perfect from the uh, writer. I I read the script in like a night. I just could not put it down. I thought it was genius, and I loved my characters so much. I thought there was so much that could be done with them, so much that was interesting about you know what was what was written. You know what I, I could I sort of thought about. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So um, as as you know, we've just just finished. Just wrapped on everything. Um, so how did you find working with, with the other two? Uh, I, I really enjoyed it. I I didn't really know you at all. Knew you kind of, sort of, not enough. Um, we were definitely friends. We I would say we were friends. We were friends, we were friends, yeah. yeah. But, but like, you know, we bonded more over this. And um, getting to know each other, it's back to that brotherhood, you know. There's brotherhood in the film. And we've also, yeah, there, we've got like, you know, that sort of bond between us. We've been through the trenches. Uh, yeah. Not literally, but almost. Deserted the trenches. Um, we did desert a trench. Uh, it, it's just been really nice to definitely work with you two. You're so, so talented as well. Being able to bounce off you guys is amazing. For So th thank you. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I didn't know these two before the film. Mm -hmm. um, and instantly, the first day film began, it was amazing. Um, just, the, yeah, the kind of chemistry, I think, was really, really helpful. And obviously, you're both very talented actors, as you say. Um, so it was just so easy. I mean, there were parts where I didn't need to act. I mean, you know, looking at your um, grotesque face sometimes, kind of <laughs> and maybe feel just, yeah, as I should feel, um, naturally scared. 
this PM. Do you mean just my general day to day face or with the bandage? Oh, no, your face. Just seeing your face. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, brotherhood. Right. Brotherhood. Second um, third, yeah. You know, we really gelled. It was yeah. just, it was such a, yeah. it's such a joy to come to set. Between and shots, it was brilliant to hang out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just my time. Sorry. Yeah, we really gelled. Uh, no, no, we, it was, it was, <laughs> no, no, it was, it was, it was a lot of fun to come to set every day and just hang out with my friends. Mm -hmm. So now you've done all your, your filming and your, your radio, and your, your all that. What's your your favourite memory? I I love being able to. Get into costume each day. Felt like we were preparing to to go to war, to go to battle, and then coming back and being able to just be like, and be able to wash that off. Literally washing off the mud. Uh, it was really cathartic. Just being able to just, it's like just take separating it from yourself and being able to at the end of the day come back. Something that the soldiers wouldn't have been able to experience. They had to live in it. So being able to have that little bit of connection with with a character and then take it away and be able to just go right, okay, back in my life again. Really, really. Mm -hmm. Surreal and great experience to, to have that. Um, so yeah, the bits where we weren't doing any work, I guess, that's my favorite part. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, um, I said, yeah, I mean, putting on the clothes was actually really, mm -hmm. um, yeah, satisfying, really. And it really helped me, it just transformed like, just like that. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we had to walk to the forest to film you know, walking through the fields just kind of felt like, you know, we're walking, you know, this is us, this is me and Eddie walking um, to where we deserted. And, yeah, just really, I mean, the forest scenes were amazing. I think. Yeah. I mean, like, the, I mean, yeah, the setting, the surrounding was amazing. I mean, Harp wasn't there. So the was bit surprised. I'm not in was yeah. amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you came along and just kind of... <laughs> Ruined it. Oh, yeah, down. down. Ruined it. Ruined it, yeah. Oh. I've completely forgotten the question. You told... Favourite part. Oh. Favourite part. Favourite part. Taking off that bandage. Mm. I, 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 enjoy, I enjoy using my two eyes. Mm. You struggle a little bit. I did struggle. Mm. My depth perception went. <laughs> went. So, what for you, or maybe as a group, uh, was the most challenging part about making a film? Okay. Um, for me personally, it was getting getting the PTSD right. Um, so Joe off, Joe obviously suffers from what what they called shell shock, and we now know as post traumatic stress disorder. Uh, I really really didn't want to portray that uh, insensitively or or wrong because I think I think a lot of war films, you know, PTSD is mentioned and you see people drinking a lot or being reckless, but I I think this really. It, it, it sort of talks about it more and shows it more, really. It shows sort of the, the true power it has over, over the people it holds mm. and um, how awful, awful this is. Now, you, people go to war and you, you don't come back the same person. Um, mm. So I think this, I, I really, I found that the most challenging, trying to get that right. As someone who's never been to war. Um, oh, you've not been? I don't know. No, I don't know if you're oh. nervous. I've never been. No, wow. No. Well, you really did a good job that one. Yeah. Mm. Dodge conscription. Um, <laughs> no, it was just I really, I really wanted to get that as right as possible and as accurate. I think as you possible. did as well. That's why. That's why it was so intense because it was. It's just something you've you said before about how, uh, like it was, a bit of a challenge to to be like okay, well we have to play the scene and then come out of it again, and it's so hard to when you've been that intense to go. We're all friends, like we can also just hug it out. Mm. Uh, and when you've had to shout at each other, that is, it, it does get really, really scary yeah, to work to work opposite you. There which is moments... a compliment. Doesn't mean yeah, it's a compliment. Yeah. Doesn't mean you can't separate. It just means that you have a good method. Yeah, there are moments when we were all in the shed together, and Hub was in completely in character, and that in itself was quite scary sometimes. I mean, there were some times where you started, you know. Trying to break down the shed. Yeah, trying to crack, crack the panel. I didn't crack it. I did not crack it. I didn't crack it. That was done before me. That wasn't <laughs> yeah. me. Yes. Mm. The weather actually as well. The first week. The rain. Oh. Oh. So the the yeah. first the first week we were meant to film. We were gonna start filming this early August, and um, that's when the 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 heat wave came. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And we did. They, these guys did one day of filming. I went to the beach with my mustache. Admittedly, uh, but they did their first day of filming, and at the end of it, um, I just got a message being like, "Yeah, 
filming's off for the weekend. Yeah. We all, yeah. you nearly passed, you were running well, no, everywhere. Know, was, there was some, yeah, there was, um, so the first day, um, obviously the heat wave, what you said. Yeah. Um, I was sprinting up and down this really steep hill for about, what, two hours? More Something is said hours. exactly. <laughs> it was a full day. Though. I don't know how I'm still here. <laughs> I'm <laughs> honestly so sad I missed that. That's what I mean. It was so satisfying to take it's, off those sweat oh. logged clothes and at the end of the day. Built yeah. for like you know winter properly. And, and the oh. the foot wraps. The oh. stench that came off your shirt. Oh, oh. My shirt. That we was just burned the I ruined a good shirt. Apparently. That was a wonderful shirt. shirt. It was a lovely shirt. By the end of it, I couldn't be within two feet. Yeah. Fortunately, I, I didn't have to be. Great. What do you want people to stay away from watching this film? And uh, why is it worth their time? For me, uh, most importantly, I want people to take away, as I said, PTSD, and a better understanding of PTSD, I hope. Um, and really just, you know, what, what, what war does to people. Yeah. War is, and I know this is going to be controversial, war is not a good thing. And it does not do good things for people. War bad. Mm. I think not glorifying Elegant. war. Not glor- yeah. Uh, that's what so many movies do. So many movies, I could name them, I won't. Um, they all, uh, they, they, they blow it up and turn it into like an action movie. And it's it's just, mm. it's not what it's about. You know, it was a horrific time. There's so much evidence about it. And there are people who will now deny things that happened during the war for whatever reason. And I think just realizing it was such a terrible thing. I think it's very important for everyone watching this to kind of, Obviously, the codes are in very... They deal with the war very differently. They react to their surroundings very differently. Absolutely. But, I mean, how would, how would you feel? Mm-hmm. I think you can, can sympathise with every single character. In the sense that they're feeling that way for a reason. Um, no matter how much you dislike them. Yeah. They're, um, yeah, they're really relatable, each one. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, how would you feel if you just got chucked into a war zone you had no idea about? It's terrifying. And not judging them for running away, I think. No, exactly. It's yeah. easy to go, coward. But it's not, yeah. they, you know, you're not there. I think it's important that we never address them as a coward. because mm-hmm. All the, the brains, uh, you know, they, they, they put you through so much conditioning. And that's what they do still, a sort of boot camp. It's just to make you desensitize. But yeah. I, you know, they, they such this, this tiny amount of training they had, they wouldn't be ready. They were boys thrown into, into yeah. this chao- chaotic hell. Three months training. Yeah, I would be out there in a flash. I think it's important that we have to understand that yeah, we would not be ready if mm. we had to kill innocent men. No, especially, I mean, what, Eddie's 17? Yeah. A 17-year-old. A naive 17 A naive, yeah. idiot 17-year-old. Yeah. Who wants to go out there and Thanks. just... Yeah, five percent. Um, yeah. yeah, I think, yeah, so don't judge them on that, you know. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't make easy comments. I think you need, you, no one understands. But I don't think it is easy to judge them. I think you completely understand yeah. why they have run away. Yeah, yeah. And you see that in the very first shot, mm. that they run away because the they would die out there. They would oh. die. Okay, so uh, last question, and then you can go. Um, if you had to summarise uh, why people should see the film in three words, what would those three words be? It's really good. That's strong, strong, yeah. strong. Cinematic movie history. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Come on. Um, sincere modern relevance. Oh, yeah. sincere modern course. Relevance. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.